In the fairy tales, the princesses were always kissing these to see if they'd turn into a prince. In reality, if you kiss one of these, you're just going to get a little bit slimy. I'm Janice Crenetti. I've been teaching animal and environmental science for about 20 years, and I'm here to answer the question, where do frogs live? Well, there's lots of different frogs living all over the world. In fact, they're found just about every place except Antarctica and your um, polar regions up north. It's just too cold for them up there. Your frogs are most diverse around the tropical rainforests. Scientists estimate that there's about 5,000 frogs existing today, one of the most diverse group of vertebrates that there are. Frogs are cold-blooded, and what that means is that their body temperature tends to fluctuate with environmental temperatures. So they can't really stand places that are really, really cold. They just can't keep enough heat. It's not possible for them. So instead, you tend to find them in temperate and tropical areas. Now, in temperate areas like Maine or Pennsylvania, where it can get pretty cold and even snow and even have ponds freeze over in the winter, frogs deal with that by hibernating. They bury themselves in the mud. Their body processes slow down. That's how they get through the winter. And then when the spring comes and the water thaws out, they'll get back to hopping around and start producing some tadpoles to turn into more frogs. The frogs that we're most familiar with are the sort of swimming type frogs. They're the ones that you're going to see look, sitting on a lily pad or swimming around in the lake. You can recognize those frogs because they have webbing between their toes. And they might have a small claw on the back feet or even on the front feet. Also, if you see them stretched out, they're going to have a very, very, very long body and pretty powerful legs. The other type of frogs that are real common where I live, which is in Florida, are tree frogs. Tree frogs are easier to identify because they have feet that are almost like suction cups, as you can imagine, for climbing in trees. Frogs are very diverse. They can be found all over the world. Some of them are even poisonous. They're a very important species for scientists because they tell us a lot about how healthy the ecosystem is. If it's, there's trouble in the ecosystem, the frogs are usually some of the first species to go. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is Where Do Frogs Live?